been chucking it down for the last, uh, oh God knows how long. It puts loads of rain down this last few weeks. It's a shame I've not been out uh, kayaking, but uh, surprisingly, it's not too bad. This uh, this birch bark here. Surprisingly, considering how much uh, how much rain we've seen. So I'm going to get a good, uh, a good couple of handfuls of this. Yeah, the real McCoy for fire starting, isn't it? As we all know. Yep. Anyone who's uh, into bushcraft or anything like that, birch bikes, the business, isn't it? Hey. This birch woodland's stunning and it's full of absolute beautiful examples of fungi. Yeah, here you've got your birch polypore and your oysu fungus, both on the same tree. And it, the wood's full of them, full of them, fantastic. I'll do. Looking a bit different than I used to do without my beer, eh? A lot of shit in it. Horrible, I hate it. So, as a few of you might know, I've been having the old uh, cancer treatments and what have you, and I'm not going to bat on about it all day. Uh, it is what it is, innit? But uh, I've had to force myself to get out and make a film. Honestly, proper. Uh, yeah, but I mean. I need to get back to normality, and normality is me being able to do this sort of shit. And uh, to be honest, it's been air graft. I could have easily just uh, not not bothered again, but uh, I need to get back into the swing of things and uh, get out there. Hopefully, my beard's going to grow back. <laughs> Hopefully, my beard's going to grow back at some stage. And uh, I like a beard, you know what I mean. Keeps your face warm, doesn't it? But uh, yeah, it's been rough. It's been rough. I mean, proper rough. It's been air graft. It's been a struggle. It's a struggle physically and mentally. But I mean, uh, I won't wish it on my worst enemy. But anyway, bollocks to that. We're out in woods. And uh, no fancy today. I just wanted to. Uh, <coughs> sorry about that. My throat's still sh shagged. But uh, yeah, yeah, just wanted to get out and make a film and uh, get myself back in, get myself back on the move. You know what I mean? And uh, doing what I enjoy. <clears throat> Don't get me wrong, I've been getting out all the time and everything, but uh, back making a few films. Yeah. So like I say, I'm not going to keep going on about it. We'll knock that on head now, and we'll just crack on with what we do. Eh? Yeah. And uh, anyway, good to see you all. All right. I absolutely love these old uh, gate posts in Forest and everything. You can see where they would, uh, on that side there's just two divots where one end of the, of the log of the uh, stick would have gone in, and then this end would have gone in like that to lock it in. Fantastic, ain't it? Just imagining all the old hands that have been older this as well, that have been uh, the old and old hands grafting in winter on the moors, farming working in all sorts of weather. Fantastic isn't it? Absolutely amazing.
still got a few bits of med so I can eat. loop on the end of this. Yep, just a simple overhand knot. Got a loop there. Now I've not, uh, this is not my idea. This is uh, Black Hat Bushcrafts. I saw it. So I thought while I'm out today, I'll try it. Eh? It's good to try all these different ideas, isn't it? Yeah. So I'll show you what, oh you might have seen Black Hat Bushcraft, but I'll do it anyway. So if you haven't seen his, you can uh, watch me do it. This is going to be a pot hanger. So an overhand knot in that end. Six foot of uh, paracord or string or whatever you want. Yep. A quick overhand knot in that. Yep. This is going to hang over the top of the tripod. And then we're going to make a series of loops coming down. Right. So we've got a one, got a one loop. So our next thing. Pull a bit of excess up like that, so you've got a bit of excess put another over hand there dead simple all just over hand knots there, so you've got that loop then like that, yep then we'll do another one, so pull it, pull it through a bit more pull a bit more Excess on that side, put another overhand. Dead simple. So now we've got two loops. Same again, pull a bit of excess through on that right hand side, put another overhand. Here. Now we've got three loops. Same again. Pull a bit of excess through on that right hand side. Over over hand. Four loops of adjustment. I'll be about right with length I've got. Dead simple now. I have an existing hook which I use for uh, hanging my pots off tripods as a rule, but we're going to try something different today. So I want a second hook. So I'm just going to uh, quickly fashion uh, a notch on the end here. So dead easy, no fancy, let me know. What? About what a minute? A minute for me to do this. Yeah. 
No messing. Just have a nice little stop with here. Carve it down a bit like that. Yeah, Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. Perfect for the job. And the other one, so you want them opposites. So you want one going that way, and one going that way. Yeah. So, I have a load of cordage on this one, because I usually hang it from the top of my tripod or whatever. But, I'm not going to need to this with this one. So, let's just nip it up a bit. Right, so that's the... So then the other one, I'm going to fasten it on, about that sort of length. So I'll just tie that on. Any old knot will do. Be as fancy as you want. Put a likes foot or whatever you want. As long as you can undo it ideally to use it again. I'm just wrapping it round now and then I'll just put a couple of half hitches on just to finish it off. There. So you got it. Opposites, yeah. So when you're hanging your pan now start that one, you can move it down to that one, yeah you can move it down to another one, you've got all them options. Pretty funny really, there's a bloke over there admiring one of my shelters, taking photographs of it. There's these dogs messing about, going in and out of it. Brilliant. It's been there a while, that one. I mean, it's on one of my vids when I built it eh? a good good while back. It's still there. So, not many people have uh, found it, really. It shouldn't be a problem to light a fire today. I'm surprised though, considering uh, how much plumbing rain has come down, but no, I think we'll be alright today. It's cold, so I'm going to use a bit of uh, bit of fat wood. So my plan is fat wood and birch bark. A few bits of feather sticks on top of that. Now that took a bit of bloody going, that, didn't it? Yeah. That took a fair bit of getting going. A couple of feather sticks on. a bunch of these little bits over the top.
does, it works well this design from uh, Black Art Bushcraft. You just need, your tripod needs to be higher than this. So, you want it about probably probably a foot higher than I've got than I've got it here. So a decent height really. Then you've got then you've got all the uh, adjustments. But uh, nah, nah, it's a good way of doing it. Yeah, dead simple. And uh, you know, I mean, for weight of a little bit of cordage like that, you can just leave that in your bag and use it all the time. Yeah, quite a dead simple way of doing it. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's all right. Just simple. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'll keep that and I'll uh, I'll use it. It'd be all right for group use. That. A bit of my bacon in a bit. Hey, some bacon and some pancakes. You can do. You can have some of daddy's pancakes. Not some. Hmm? Yeah. Good lad, good lad. Well, just a short film today, but uh, 
I just wanted to get back out and get back on it, you know what I mean? I've been out and about doing my shit and what have you, but uh, just to get back on this to make another film, you know, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, thanks for joining us and uh, thanks for all the support, everybody who's, uh, I've had plenty of messages of goodwill and all the rest of it and uh, thank you, you know what I mean, it's, uh, it's appreciated a lot, so, yeah, onwards and upwards, eh, hopefully. Fingers crossed, eh? And if not, tough shit, innit? But we'll be right. Anyway, look after yourselves and thanks a lot for coming along. See you in a bit. Ta-da.